Hey, this is Vanner, and you're listening to Finding Frequency, the Thursday edition as we head towards the end of the week. I'm sure you needed that update, right? But yeah, for me, it's definitely heading towards the end of the week, and tomorrow is a big day for me. So not only do I have some work to do, keep myself out of trouble, but in the afternoon, Marta and I will be going to the notary to sign documents with the previous house owner who became a friend and is kind of also the estate agent, blah, blah, blah. And now we are heading to the notary to sign the documents for um, the transfer of our future house. So this is actually a momentous occasion, I guess, tomorrow. The bank has been reaching out. They want their pound of flesh. So things are starting to roll. Doesn't feel real yet. I don't know when, does it ever feel real? In fact, maybe when I sign tomorrow, it's not really my house, but the bank's house, right? So, yeah, but uh, we will be homeowners soon, soon enough. And tomorrow is a very key step in the direction of procuring our future abode. What we're going to be doing with that abode and how we're going to be uh, furnishing and uh, renovating said abode is still up in the air. And uh, it's kind of strange and maybe you will think that we are a bit crazy because we are definitely kind of taking it step by step, step by step. I think this is something that uh, how I've changed my life slightly or how I've changed. And I think it's more uh, Marta's influence than anything else. I'm a planner. This is what I get from my dad is that we, we like to plan things out. I enjoy a spreadsheet. I like to have everything dotted down. Um, I don't pitch up at your house just for a visit. I organize things. I, uh, plan and uh although we have had done, done a fair amount of planning and thinking and consideration and conversation most of the rest of what's going to happen in the future is kind of up in the air and uh in a conversation with someone else earlier this week um, i think we've we've all kind of fallen into that space with all the strangeness happening around us and how situation has changed over the last two years where for, for a lot of us, we were confident and certain about certain things happening as we see fit, yet we were given or thrown a little bit of curveball. I know for myself, I was going merrily along uh, this whole year until August, and then I got punched in the face, and things drastically changed for me too. I mean, I'm still lucky. Um, I don't have to deal with a lot of things that some of my dear friends have to deal with, but... I think what I've learned in the last two years is that there's nothing, nothing is really certain. Uh, your life can change like that. And things, your environment can change like that. And uh, the thing that I've accepted is that change is not necessarily always a bad thing, but it's maybe good to embrace or to brace yourself and uh, be able to manage these kind of things in the moment. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow, in theory, there's going to be a key moment. And uh, I'm excited about it. I hope that you have something to look forward to. Sometimes maybe a bit daunting, but still something to look forward to. Hey, thanks for listening.